New from Flex, the cordless right angle drills. They're here. I've got the compact and I've got the regular, the big boy. We're going to put them to the test. We're going to weigh them on some scales. We're going to go over the specifications and you're going to get my thoughts on whether I think these are good purchases or not. Let's get right into it. So first off, let's talk about pricing. The compact right now is $299. The big boy is $429. So very competitively priced. We'll talk about some statistics here. First, we'll go over the big tool, and, and I will do some uh, nice up-close shots for you on this so that you can see it, kind of almost jump through the camera at you. So on the big boy, the specifications, torque 2,400 inch-pounds, no load speed, zero to 400 or zero to 1350 RPMs. That depends on the gearing you're in, I'm assuming. Uh, turbo speed, zero to 490 and zero to 1650 RPMs. Now chuck capacity, half inch. It does have two speeds, like I mentioned before, and it does have the keyed chuck. Drilling capacity into wood is six and a quarter inches. And let's just go ahead and get into the weight of this tool. We're not gonna go by Flex's specifications on the weights. We're gonna use my new scale. So I just got this scale. That way we can get an official reading right here um, on the job, so to speak. So let's go ahead and weigh this tool. I'm gonna turn it on first. All right, we're, we're zeroed out right now. I'm gonna put just the tool on it. We're sitting at 11 pounds, 11 ounces. Hopefully you can see that. 11 pounds, now it's down to 10 ounces, 11 ounces. It's bobbling between 10 and 11 ounces. So 11 pounds, 10 or 11 ounces for the big drill. It is no slouch, it's beefy. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put a 5.0 battery on there. Why a 5.0? I feel like a 5.0 battery is essentially what everybody kind of uses. I, that's what I use a lot. I use more 5.0 batteries than any other battery. Um, they're just, they're a nice size, they're a nice weight, and they've got the power to run pretty much anything you want. And this one is fully charged. I just pulled it off the charger about an hour ago. So we'll go ahead and put the battery on the tool. And now let's weigh it. Make sure I'm turned on here and zeroed out. Here we go. This is tool and battery. What's that say? 13 pounds, 14 ounces. 13 pounds, 14 ounces. Okay, it's bobbling around a little bit, probably because I'm next to it or I'm pulling on its cord. 13 pounds, 14 ounces. It's, it's, it stopped moving. So I'm, I was probably bumping it a little bit. 13 pounds, 14 ounces. That's with a 5.0 battery. Okay, we've talked a little bit about big drill. Let's go into the compact. Max torque, 1680 inch pounds. No load speed, zero to 1350 RPMs. Turbo speed, zero to 1650 RPMs. Chuck capacity, half inch, just like the big boy, and it is a keyed chuck. They state that the drilling capacity in wood is four inches. All right, so we've went over the specifications that they've provided me on the compact. Let's weigh this thing in. We are zeroed out right now. Let's go ahead and place the tool on. Let that come to a stop. Eight pounds, one ounce. Eight pounds, one ounce. All right. Eight pounds, one ounce. Now let's go ahead and stick the battery on there. Same battery, 5.0 battery, fully charged. Make sure we get that on. Okay, with a 5.0 battery, we're looking at 10 pounds, three ounces right now is what it's sitting at. 10 pounds, three ounces. So significantly lighter weight and significantly shorter too. Let's get into, into some uh, detailed measurements real quick. 
Here we've got the big half inch right angle drill and here we've got the compact. Let me scoot those um, next to each other so that you can kind of see the size comparison. I kind of like to see the size comparison on tools like this, especially when I'm gonna purchase one. So you can see kind of the difference. We'll go ahead and let's see if we can't stand these dudes up right next to each other, butt to butt right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take some measurements. Just real, real brief, real brief measurements. They don't have to be crazy accurate. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the hook, rafter hook, and I'm gonna, is that fair enough? And then we'll kind of eyeball it. I'm gonna call that 17 and 7 eighths at the largest point, about 17 and 7 eighths. Rafter hook is in place. I'm gonna hook there and I'm just gonna have to kind of eyeball this. I'm gonna call that 21 and maybe an eighth, 21 to the tip of the handle, but I think the head sticks out just a hair past the handle. So I'm gonna call that 21 and an eighth. Before we do some actual testing with these, let's go ahead and do kind of an up close look at each tool. One thing that really sticks out to me so far is the lights. I love the location of the lights. They seem to be in a really good location. It kind of shines the light towards your bit. Really nice location. The head, beefy. You can tell they're well made. On the big boy, yes, I'm a lefty. So I like the handle on the left. Some guys might want the handle on the right. Um, but they have that option available, which is really nice. I like the location of the key. He is in a great location on both, and they both have the rafter hook, which is, I mean, that's a, that's a must-have thing, right? Let's go ahead and show you the turbo button. Turbo button, and once again on the big boy, it's got two gears, a high and a low, unlike the compact. That's turbo mode off. We'll go ahead and click it on. Turbo mode off. Turbo mode on. Really, really smooth. Go ahead and flip this battery over onto the other tool. And you can see that light that I was talking about. Really nice bright, projects right up to your bit. We're in high gear. And that is turbo on, we'll go turbo off. Now turbo on. Turbo off. Love that light. Light is so nice. Everything about the tool so far I really like. Um, but we got to show you guys how they perform. How are we going to do that? I think I've got the perfect piece of equipment to do it with. Two and nine sixteenths speed board. This is the biggest one I could find at my local Menards. So I'm thinking we just thrash right through this four by four. What do you guys think? You think it can handle it? Extend that out a little bit. Okay, turbo mode is off right now, and this baby is fully charged, fresh off the charger. Let's see what she can do.
Okay, you can see that it stalled one time on me. I had to let off the trigger and start again. Let's do a fresh hole. Let's go right in the middle. That way the, the bit's not uh, hanging outside. And we're going to keep turbo mode off. Keep in mind, this is uh, probably not the best thing to be cutting as a big tree to 4x4, four four, but I wanted to put this thing to the true test, right? All right, there we stalled. We're almost through, but it did stall. Let's put it in reverse. Kind of clean it out a little bit. Here we go. You can see how close we were to the bottom. So that's probably just, you know, chips or shavings binding up the bit. But man, that's impressive. Let's turn it on turbo mode. See what this thing can do. Here we go. And once again, we're going right down the center of this dude. Turbo mode is on. Let's do it. No problem on turbo mode. Barely even bogged. We got turbo on again. Same battery. Here we go. That time we thermaled. Let's back it out. Getting plugged up with chips. Okay, so the last hole that I did, this particular hole, not the one that I just did, but the last one, I was pushing on the drill, just trying to get it to stall. This one, I just let the uh, auto feeding bit do its thing. I just let it feed. So let's do one more. This time I'm not gonna push on it either, just because I want it to feed. You can see I pushed just at the last, just to push it through, because that auto feed pilot bit was bottomed out. So I had to push the last little bit through, but man, so smooth, so impressive. If you're watching my body language here, there's no kick or anything like that. It's just, it's just doing work, man. Let's get that big boy out and see what it can do. All right, here we go. We've got the big boy and I've got a fresh 5.0 battery, fully charged, just pulled it off the charger a little while ago. Different battery than what we were just using. Same bit. Let's see. I'm thinking high gear for this one. Let's go high gear. You can see I've got it on high gear right there. Let's just see what happens. And this is turbo mode off, by the way. Here we go. Okay, you could hear a little bit of bogging. Decided to move to this side of the 4x4 because it's kind of sliding around on me, but here we go. Let's turn on that turbo mode and let's see what happens. Thermaled and I wasn't even pushing. Let's back it out. Here we go again. All right. Let's do something here. I'm gonna push really hard on this one. See how quickly we can get it to lock up. There we go, I made it about halfway through. I'm gonna push hard again. That's as hard as I can push right there. Now, let's go ahead and do ourselves a favor. Let's rock and roll on over to low gear. I can get it locked in here. There we go. Low gear. And we're going to keep turbo off. We're going to turn turbo off for this one. And I'm just going to let it feed on this first one.
much, much slower. But you can see the torque. It is uh, shaking me around like crazy. A lot of torque. All right, let's go turbo mode on. Turbo mode on. Here we go. Very nice. Now I was kind of off to the side on that one, so let's do that one again. Let me clean this out a little bit. Let's get me closer to the center. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually push pretty hard on this one. Let's see if we can get the, the low gear turbo to kind of seize up. I'm pushing hard. I'm bearing down with everything I got right there. So I went ahead and switched over to one of the stacked batteries. This is the 6.0, fully charged. And it does change this dynamic. It makes this drill an absolute beast. Oh man. I mean, I don't know if the video is picking that up, but It is slinging this stuff like crazy. Check out the aftermath. What a mess I've got to clean up. But I hope that this helps you to make an informed decision. Throw a stacked battery on and both of these drills just become a whole nother animal. It's crazy. Well, there you have it. The new cordless right angle drills. If I didn't answer one of the questions that you might have, just drop in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer that question. Maybe it's a, a statistic or a specification on one of these or something about pricing. That was bare tool pricing that I listed, by the way. Wonderful, wonderful right angle drills. I love them. I can't say enough good things about them. A lot more tool reviews coming your way from Flex specifically. That's pretty much all I use on my job sites anymore. I don't have hardly any other brands. I just, I like the flex tools. They perform really well for us. So we're sticking with them. And they've got the lifetime warranty going on for another year. So if you buy a flex tool right now and you register it, keep your receipt, make sure you keep your receipt, battery, charger, and the tool, all three lifetime warranty. Pretty awesome deal. So until next time, it's been Miller's Construction. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Help support the channel. We'll see you on the next one.